Hey, Seth Miranda here, last ex-witness on all social media. I'm a pro photographer right here in New York, and I'm gonna give you five tips for better live streaming. Tip number one, get yourself a camera that can output a 1080 video that also has shutter speed, aperture, and ISO exposure control. Your camera might already do this, whether it be a DSLR or a mirrorless. You're looking at me on a Nikon Z6. The Nikon Z50 is a great option as well with the flip-down screen so you can monitor what you're recording. Not to mention it's smaller and probably will take up less space on your setup so you're not blocking screens and other things like that. Tip number two, get yourself some good audio. It doesn't matter how good the video looks, if the audio sounds bad, you won't be able to pay attention to you. And a simple USB mic like this can be the difference between someone staying engaged in your video and clicking off of it because they can't understand what you're saying. If it looks good, great. If they can't understand what you're communicating, what's the point? And with everybody's production level going up and so many people doing this, every little bit counts to getting that audience to grow a little bit more. A USB mic in camera isn't the worst thing in the world either, so don't be afraid of that. But if you are a little self-conscious about having this being visible, get yourself a wearable lav mic and there's a lot of options out there for you to choose from. Tip number three, be very conscious of your lighting. If you're able to do it, create your own light. You're already gonna be able to control the exposure. So now get it to capture the light that looks good for you and creates an environment for yourself. I light in zones, so that light back there can be any color I want to always change my background up. And then I keep this very constant. Neither one of them affects the other one and they're in separate zones, allow me to do whatever I want basically for the look that I want for that particular stream. Tip number four, don't forget there's a background behind you and people see that just as much as they see you. So don't make it too distracting. Make sure the focus is on you so people can stay engaged with what you're saying and trying to communicate. And also make sure it has some personality to it because people, when they're watching your live stream, feel like they're hanging out with you. And that should say much about you as much as what you're saying itself. Uh, try to make it a little less exposed. See so how it's a little darker back there and also not as sharp as in focus. This will keep people away from being stuck on that background and getting lost on that rather than talking to you or get distracted. And it also makes an environment for your audience to feel like they're there with you. Tip number five, don't forget that this is supposed to be a little bit of fun and you should engage with your audience. So check your demeanor and make sure your content is worthwhile. Always acknowledge people in the chat. Don't forget that you have to check in with them, see what they're saying back to you. Always ask them questions so you keep that chat active no matter what platform you're on. You never wanna be talking at them, you wanna be talking with them. If it's not a live format, what's the point of being a live stream? And there you have it, five quick tips to a better live stream. For more information, check out NikonUSA.com. My name's Seth Miranda and I'll see you next time.